Okay, so Camping and Woodcraft, this is the facsimile edition with an introduction. And this is the Kephart book. You can see, and there's my middle finger, how wide it is on about as big as my hand. They call this um, a convenient size, I guess. The first book, sorry for hand holding here. The first book is 399, or is that 405 pages with the index. So I'm gonna do a quick close up. This was a special request uh, update on these. This is the two volumes in one. So Camping and Woodcraft. Introduction um, kind of goes through. That's from 19, uh, or I see. Sorry, the preface is from 1916, which is the same. This was from 1987, that introduction. Now, here's the table of contents. So, if you're going to get one book um, and you want the most comprehensive, I would get this one. If you're looking for good information, quick access, um, you know, the green covered one, the original. I, I bought both because I wanted the original that was put out uh, by Kephart. I wanted to see exactly what he had written initially. So it goes on to vacation time, outfitting, tents for fixed camps, furniture tools and utensils for fixed camps, tents for shifting camps, types of light tents, light camp equipment, camp bedding, clothing, personal kits, provisions, Camp making, the campfire, pests of the woods. Um, pests of the woods, by the way, has a cool way to uh, make some uh, natural repellents and so on and oils. Um, dressing and keeping game and fish, also a great chapter. Camp cookery, the meats, then game. Camp cookery, fish and shellfish. Cured meats, eggs, and so on. Um, cookery, breadstuffs, veggies, uh, beverages, desserts, and then cooks, miscellaneous. Uh, a lot of illustrations through here. Let me see if I can get that. So, I use great information. Um, pages are short. Uh, it's in the green book, they're uh, full size. Uh, take up a little better. It's easier reading. So, if you're uh, not concerned about that, you know, this this is excellent. So, in the book two, it starts up with woodcraft, getting lost, bivouacs, pathfinding. Nature's Guidepost, Blazes, Survey Lines, the Use of the Compass. It actually goes into very early um, township mapping. It actually was very informative for me. Um, how do you actually, uh, you know, how do they actually go out and map this country? It talks about how everything is set up, how they did cross streets and so on eventually in, in, through the wilderness. Excellent. Route sketching, mapping, measuring, trips afoot, packs for the pedestrians, how to walk. Um, a hunter's pack going alone. Just talks a little bit about the city guy versus uh, the country folk. Concentrated foods, marksmanship in the woods. Uh, and they do touch on marksmanship in the first book, I believe. Um, and he talks about the difference of being a woodsman marksmanship. And in the military, uh, he compares to the military guy who, with uh, growing up in the woods, is a better marksman than the guy who can stand at a range all day. Um, axemanship. Qualities and utilization of wood goes through every single type of wood. Um, that's page 187. Let's see. He actually goes through wood, its uses, um, fitting, how to uh, grind them, fit them, uh, rehanging an axe, how to fell a tree. I'm uh, pretty sure. Um, yeah, so for example, woods liable to shrink, liable to check. Just excellent information, more than you're going to find in any new uh, bushcraft book. So this really is the quintessential two-volume set. Um, you know, the Dave Canterbury ones are nice for an introduction. His advanced is relatively nice, but it doesn't go into the details that this guy went into. And, and a lot of the lost art of survival of everyday life uh, is in these books. So then it goes Tomahawk. 
shelters, axmas camps, caches, mass camps, cabin, building rustic furniture, bark utensils, bast ropes and twine, root and vine cordage, withes and splits, knots, hitches, and lashings. Then it goes into trophies, pelts, buckskin, and rawhide. What's the true difference between a buckskin and rawhide? And again, real rawhide is um, and buckskin uh, are not what you're getting today from commercial tanneries. Tanning skins, other animal products, cave exploration, bee hunting, and then edible plants of the wilderness, living off the country in extremis. Accidents and emergencies, their backwoods treatment. Uh, absolutely excellent. So if you're going to go for one, go for this book. Um, and here's the Duluth pack. They're still in business. Just talks about everything you need to do. So if you're if you're torn and you can only afford one book, price being uh, all the same, get this one. It's uh, it is convenient. The only thing I wish they made this in a hardcover. Um, I I tend to read books, reference books, go back to books, and so this is one. Really, really, really think you should they should have in uh, a hardcover um, but it is excellent so i hope that helps i hope that gives you a little bit more information on there uh, i left the other book actually up at strubstead this weekend brought it up because i was look, researching some of the information on making a charcoal pit <clears throat> which is i think digging six feet down by six feet or four foot by four foot and then burning a bunch of wood in there and then getting the charcoal and actually stockpiling and how to make your own charcoal uh, so just fascinating information the other one is a little larger, a little easier to read. So if you're doing it by uh, lamp light, uh, you know, an off grid uh, is a little easier. But this one is definitely more comprehensive. If you know, so if you're stuck between buying one, buy this one. If you're thinking, you know, if if you eventually can get both, get both. Uh, I would. It's nice reading the original one in its uh, entirety. So it's really the difference is, is that this one was put out by the University of Tennessee Press, and they added some, uh, you know, like the introduction, um, and they added a little bit of information, some relative background to it, and then they faxed, uh, you know, or basically for simile copies, so uh, to make their book versus having an original in hand, and then they've since reissued the other one. So that's where this book came from. But if you're only going with one, I would get this one. I believe I bought this off uh, eBay. was probably the cheapest price on there. You know, you can check Amazon. Um, but I'm pretty sure uh, eBay was the cheapest price on this one and the other one. Hope that helps, and I appreciate, uh, you know, the subscriptions and the following and uh, the feedback on there. I'll do the best I can to help you guys get out in the shrub. Thank you.